You are now listening to the sounds of Mood Swing Music Group. Hey yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, man. And today what we gonna do, we gonna get into a little uh, sample chopping, man. So you ever been working on a, on a track and you don't have a drum kit set up and then uh, you kind of working and then you find a loop that you like, but you don't like the pattern of the loop, but you like the drum kit that they use to make the loop. Let's jump in here, man. Let me show you how to take that drum loop and turn it into your drum kit. So, uh, this is going to be a real quick video, man. Uh, let's see here. What we want to do. So, yeah, I got it already set up. This is my, this is my sample. We're just going to use this sample. It's just a simple sample, man. Something that, you know, just to do this video and drop something to. Yeah, just a little something that we can mess with. So we're going to take this beat here. Boom. And uh, I can play it for you real quick just so you can see what it sound like. So it don't necessarily go with that flow of that piano and stuff. So what, what I want to do is this. I'm going to take it off of audio and put it on sampler. Then we're going to go in here into the sample uh, screen here. We're going to go to slice. And we're going to go to detect. And it was already on detect, but let's do this. When you first come in, it'll be on manual, I think, or something like that. Yeah, to be on manual and nothing to be selected. So uh, what we want to do is go down here, go to detect, and it's basically going to chop it up for you. So then if you hit your pads, so now, and you can pick either one of these that you want to use for your track and so forth and so on so now what we gonna do we just gonna play our sample and see which one we like I like that a little bit so let's do this real quick we gonna come out of here Nah, we're going to go back in there. My bad, my bad. And then we're going to hit apply. We're just going to hit apply. We're going to let it fall, have it fall. And what it's going to do is going to break the sample down step for step. And then what you want to do is just get in here and get rid of all of this. You don't need none of that. You can delete all of that. And you still got it on your... It's, it's still applied to your pad. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this baby and set our pattern up. Because I don't want it on auto. We're going to take it and set it. Let's see how long the sample is. Is it four? Yeah, the sample is four, so this would be simple. Let's break that down to four. Four bars. And then, basically, we're going to hit record, man, and we're going to make this track real quick. Man, and it's just that simple. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to see if I can get me a quick quantize on here and see if it'll uh, allow me to quantize and get it on point. And And there you go, man. That's how you do it, man. You basically just take that drum loop and break it down and, and slice it. Throw it on the pads. Pick which ones you want to play on there. And once you pick the ones you want to play, man, you can apply them right to your sample or to your instrument you can play or whatever. And, man, you good to go from there. So if you like what you saw in this video, man, like, share, comment, subscribe. 
And like always, man, don't just be a producer, be productive. Peace.